Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today, horse camp. So we put the horses in the stalls last night again because it rained. It rained in the night and I don't feel comfortable leaving them out in the rain when I'm not there to watch them. Not only did it rain, but it's freezing out here. Holy heck. Right, let's see. 62, holy heck. Hey there Gabby, Gabby's ready. Awake and wild and ready. You gotta eat breakfast though. All right, are we ready to rock it? Hello, babies. I've not been down in this barn in two days. Oh my God. Slow. So is that guy slow. All right, did we feed the ponies? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just need hay. Just need hay? Ooh, I'll go send them hay. It stinks in here. Guess who's cleaning the barn today? You choose not to go to camp, then you gotta do the chores. I'm excited to spend the day with you, Sophie. I'm excited to spend the day in the barn. I'm spending the whole day with my kitten. Yeah. You, they love you because they let you let them out? Yeah, they were stuck in there. They love me so much. So, you know what all it comes to for me? What? And what does uh, Lexi do to you, come, come to for you? What? Lexi, you do this. Do you guys remember the video where Gabby was like 10 and she showed us how she does this and the cats all come to it? Mm -hmm. All at the, the barn. cats do. Yeah. I do that. And all the cats, even cats that I've never seen. Oh, I know. You guys remember? Did you see the video? It was when she was at the barn that we just showed at when we used to be there. And she saw, she was 10. She was Gabby's age, but she was like a little six year old. Like, Gabby's age? She was Sophie's age. Like, Sophie at 10. I have to show you guys. It's so I was different. shorter at 10. So yeah. Maybe. I was like at least an inch. Or yeah, hair. like you were way different. Like you were like a little girl still. So it's like a woman. Right, let's get this day no, she's done. Not, she's <laughs> like 5'1. Yeah, she's Kaylee's 5'3. Yeah. So you're not a woman until you hit 5'3. Is that what no. you're trying to say? Alright, so let's get ready. Let's get ready for camp. I have a super fun plan. Holy heck! Yeah. Mom, All the know? poop. Give him a big like kiss. You can't kiss me. Oh, because he, it's hard, hard for him to balance the way you're holding him. <laughs> She's like, give me a kiss. <laughs> okay, time for you to have a kiss. <laughs> it is wet and gross out, you guys. I'm not lying. It's disgusting. Stormy boy, I got Stormy boy with me. You, my friend, are having a couple days off because you deserve it. All right. Oh, Chino's already on the run. Hold on, and you be nice when I let you go. I'm not even joking. Hold on. All right, good boy. I told him not to be mean. So far, so good. Um, our other boys have made friends with the girls. This is why I'm worried about them moving to the new far to the new barn. These boys like their girls. And our girls be posing for them. Look at me, look at me. Uh-oh. No bed. He is. Got your work cut out for you today, Sophie. No, because I'm not riding today. He didn't shake very much. There he goes. Guys. So today we need to go, Sophie and I need to go over there and check the, <laughs> check the field and make sure they still have lots of grass back there. They probably do. Yeah, I'm sure probably they do. Probably be able to see half of them one day. Yeah, no, but anyway, I have to always be watching. I see fall everywhere. So my mom said if I want to check Snapchat or anything, I have to wake up earlier than her so I can check it. Before it's time to get up. Did you do it? So Sophie's found that if her magic thing in life, is I have if, energy. if she wakes up first thing in the morning, she's energetic for the whole day. If she stays in bed and sleeps too late, it sucks away your energy, huh? Yeah. What do you think, Molly? Anything take away your energy? Molly's like, no. Look at the white on her gloves. Like, that's how pretty she is. She also likes eating grass and crickets and all that. Yeah, she's she's a busy girl. I'm just waiting for the girls. We are taking Gabby. Sophie and I are taking Gabby to camp. Sophie didn't want to go to camp, and that's okay. I was the same way as a homebody when I was little. I didn't want to go anywhere. 
I don't wanna do anything but read my books. And then I turned into this energetic crazy woman as I got older. So yeah, anything can happen, you guys. Gabby's got her saddle pad and she's bringing her saddle. And I get a lot of questions about Gabby's custom saddle made just for Storm. And it's true, it was custom. But the thing is that when you buy a high-end saddle made with completely different stuff than a cheaper brand. And so high-end saddles are meant to like adjust and move. They're like so different. If you get a chance to feel one compared to like a more wooden-y kind of one, um, you'll be shocked. Anyways, she should be able, both girls should be able to ride in their saddle, custom designed specifically for them and their horse. They should be able to take their saddle and ride it on any other horse. And that's what happens with high end saddles. People always ride every horse in their own saddle. So that is why we went with custom. They are so super amazing. Unless she gets a pony or in some ponies, she should even be able to fit her saddle unless she gets a pony or she gets, um, like a horse with a really, really high wither or some kind of weird, different, not at run of the mill kind of body type, then she should be able to wear her saddle on most of them. Hers is even better because it's got the super wide panel bottom. Like she should be able to wear it, ride it. So that's what a lot of people that have high end saddles do. They go everywhere. They travel everywhere with their own saddles, ride everybody else's horses with their own saddles. I know it's hard for some of you guys to believe, but it's true. All right, Gabby's got her breakfast. She's got nachos and chips or whatever that is. Cheese, nacho cheese, whatever. It's got some protein in there, I'm sure. Nacho um, cheese. Yeah, nacho cheese. It's not your cheese. Why are you eating my cheese? Um, okay, so Gabby, you know you gotta wear a mask when you're in the barn, right? Did you not see me bring one? Oh, good job, Gabby. I'm proud of you. Right, let's go. Let's go, at least she's eating breakfast. That's all I care. Okay, you guys, we're five minutes away from the barn and we have 10 minutes to get there. So, you guys remember when Fiona and Brandon broke in our barn and we had to prank them back. We pranked Brandon, but we never pranked Fiona. Today's the day. We are gonna prank Fiona. Are you ready for it? Yeah. All right, we're ready for it. Like, I'm so nervous. Okay, so basically, okay, so I'm gonna phone her and I'm gonna just do the prank and you guys can hear it, but I'm gonna phone her right now and I'm gonna try and do the prank. If I can get her phone As soon as she pick here. up, say hello, and then say Gabby. Okay, I got it, you guys, so get ready. I'm gonna like try and act. I'm gonna take the gum out of my mouth. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna prank her. She, she might already know this prank, and she might not. Okay, get ready. Fiona. Yeah. Oh, something crazy happened. Oh God. I know. I was I was gonna be late, so I was speeding a little bit, and I never speed. You know I never speed. Did you get pulled over by the cops? Yes, I got pulled over by the cops. <laughs> I got my first speeding ticket, but I, I got out of it. I think I got out of it, Fiona. Wait, wait. I need you to help me. I told him that I, I told him I had to speed because. You fell down and you were our instructor at our horse camp and you were there all by yourself with all your kids. And you had to get to the uh, hospital. That's the, that's the same um, thing that the girl did on TikTok. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did Kaylee tell you? Did Kaylee tell you? Did Kaylee tell you? No. Oh, damn it. Why do you have TikTok? I didn't. It was on Facebook. Oh. Why do you have Facebook? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, at least they tried. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a minute. All right, bye. Bye. Ah, she knew it. I, I've been dying to try that that one, but she was laughing when she thought I got it pulled over by a car, by a cop. <laughs> yeah, she's like, Gabby, we'll have to get her. We'll get her again. We're, we're here. Oh Look at those ears. Gabby's like, I want that pony no, right it has there. Blue eyes. It has blue eyes. Look at. Look at. It wants to go. You can tell. Like he's like, take me with you. Look at that pony. Gabby wants him. I'm like, he's for sale. Let's buy him. I'm the worst enabling mother. People are going to go crazy with that, that expression, but can I love him. him. Yeah, yeah let's him? get him. Brandon has some really cute ponies. Yeah. I guess he's here for, he's for training yeah. probably. He's got blue eyes. Look at those blue eyes. Oh, him. one blue eye, one brown eye. I love that even better. I would love him. He's like, I don't know you. All right, let's go see who you're riding and if you can actually use your saddle. Hi, Kaylee. You look good in black, Kaylee. Black and pink. Who'd you get? Echo, isn't he lame? 
Oh, we're seeing at these labor now right now. Oh, that's the story of our week too. There goes Echo. That's Storm's half brother. I'm excited. Who are you riding? Oh yeah, you need your lunch. I'm riding Lily, Chino's second girlfriend. Riding Lily, Chino's second girlfriend, and so she gets to ride her own saddle. This is Gabby's lunch. <laughs> it's all healthy, but it's got a lot of water in it. All right, they're obsessed. I'm gonna ask Brandon. He's a demon? Oh, I want him more. I know, I know. <laughs> no, we're good. You're good. I like him too. What's his name? I don't know. Demon. Demon. Oh, Look at that blue demon eye. You can barrels. tell. Oh, maybe you're oh. barrel racing. No, but they're like for jumps. So Gabby's super excited to ride in her style. Jumps. Just be really careful with it because we don't want any more brakes on it. Do not enter. Okay, Gabby, I'm putting your lunch right here. Okay. I don't know where. Put on that saddle stand. Sure. Number five is lucky. So red on a chestnut. Uh huh. That was bad planning. Last time I wore silver bay on her. It looked really good. <laughs> no. I I packed for. Everything but a chestnut. <laughs> that was bad planning. Chestnut. Do you have anything for your hair? Yeah, I have a hairnet. All right. And the you... hairnet I can turn into a scrunchie. Okay. All right. Hello, Shayla. Everybody knows Shayla. Yes. Running down the thing. I finally got a tripod and the oh. wife bed. Yeah, super cool. It's called like a gorilla pod. Where'd you get it? Uh, Walmart. Oh, super cute. $16. I like your mask. Everybody look at her mask. Isn't that cute? Super cute. All right, the whole gang is back together again. We got Shayla, we got Gabby, and Sophie. Can I video you guys? We got we got Sophie with her, her the, with Hope and Tori. Sophie loves these are so love. Sophie loves all these girls. Like it's so nice that older girls are nice to Sophie. She loves them. They're Sophie's all like, older than I know. She's like, stop talking. You can never tell if anybody's embarrassed because their face is covered. You have to look at the eyes. <laughs> And the color of their skin. All right, who are you riding? No. Coco. Coco. Like usual. Like usual. Who are you riding? No one. No one. Who are you riding? Denver. Denver. Oh, I want to ride Denver. <laughs> who are you riding? I'm riding Sparky. Sparky. Oh, nice. Echo's lame. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Echo. Oh, Echo is still lame. Oh. We found a casualty, a camp casualty already. No. Goodbye, little mouse. There goes Gabby. She's going to get her pony. She loves herself a lily. There goes Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee's a counselor. Yeah, you, Sophie could be a counselor. Sophie's a counselor kind of girl. The boys are still hanging around with the girls. They're still like, love me, love me. Love is a powerful thing, you guys. Love is a powerful thing. It was raining yesterday, so we ended up putting the horses in. I knew it was gonna rain in the night, and I'm glad I did put them in, but that means that we have to do chores. Let's leave the kitties alone. Look at them, they look worried, don't they? Don't they look worried up there? They look like twins. I swear, I've been seeing signs of twins all day. All day, signs of twins. Look at how chunky his face is getting. Chores are taking forever. I never, ever, ever want to have horses inside again, do you? One of the reasons that we don't get that frustrated with our life and we don't get tired and bored of doing chores and taking care of the horses is because our life is set up in a way that we always have time for them. But right now, I'm trying to get out because I have something really important to do and we're trying to get the chores done. And I'm actually starting to get a bit frustrated because, come on already, Sophia. Like, you gotta go and I have to fill the water. Like, when you don't have time, everything seems to take the most time. I think I've discovered how to get harmony and quiet and calm in our field and our little herd and it's to tire Storm out. Tire him out so that he doesn't have any energy to give attitude. Aww, you forgive us. Forgive us for making you run like a crazy man. You did such a good job. So at the end of the show, the instructor talked about how like rule out pain and then when she ruled that out, got to get under him and tell him to behave. A lot of you guys are like offering such good suggestions. The thing is, is that with injections, our vet won't give them unless there's a, a reason to give them. Storm's had 
clear x-rays in the recent past so there's no reason to give injections and we've spent the better part of the last two years trying to figure storm out and we did we fixed him you guys like even though he has a terrible attitude you guys saw him going for the first time ever like in the past we've never been able to take him to a show before and expect success we've never been able to get that amount of energy out of him so many people are focused on fixing the horse and it's the same thing with kids we always want to like fix the problem like obviously there's a problem if you don't act in a certain way but the truth is that some people don't want to and some horses don't want to i just wanted to check the fence and make sure it's good because we have to go out we will never give up on trying to make storm happier all the time he is definitely happier i think what the instructor at the show was seeing was the fact that it's Gabby had spurs on yes it made him go and yes it it got him doing the things that Gabby wanted him to do but I think it also got him pinning his ears and being angry so it's a double-edged sword and I think the biggest thing that we need to remember is the storm doesn't want to and it's okay we just got to get Chino back in action and that is the focus of this week you guys okay so our chores are pretty much done I still actually need to pick poop out of the arena because the boys were in there um, but I have to go and do something else first and I'll have to be done when I get back. So this happened. You guys remember who this is? Ever since COVID, we've been kind of not trying to see him too much, keep him safe. But something crazy happened in his family yesterday. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell everybody, but Jack is a big brother. Are you a big brother? He's like, I just want to play with your car, Nana. Yeah, so Jack has a new, a brand new baby sister. She's coming home from the hospital today. So Jack is going to spend the day with us so that his mom and his dad can get used to having a baby at home and can get some sleep because they're not doing a lot of that right now. Jack is going to come back home with us. Say hi, Jack. Say hi. <laughs> You're so cute. You're such a cute boy. Right, so we're stopping at this little farm stand to I see if they kids. have any fruit. I know, Sophie loved little kids. Oh, that is awesome. We need beans. Oh, he's yeah, a, the beans are delicious. He's one and a half and just has a new, brand new baby sister at home. Oh, lovely. Oh, and you found her rock. She hasn't come home yet. She's coming soon. Oh, yeah? So he's spending some time with Nana. This way, Sophie, bring him this way. Getting tomatoes and beans and pears and apples and tomatoes. Jack collected rocks and I had to take them away because I don't want him, put him, want him to put them in his mouth. Here, you can have that one too. I didn't want him to put them in his mouth. Here, put them down there and then if he wants more, watch him. I didn't want him to choke when I was driving so I had to switch it up. He was a little upset to give me his rocks. So he's having some green beans from the farm stand. We're gonna give him more rocks at home. Yeah, we're gonna let him have more rocks at home. What? Oh, he spit it out. You wanna kiss it? You wanna kiss the camera? Do you like the green beans? Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you blow them kisses? He's like, leave me alone. I need to eat my beans. But I'm not sure if I like my beans. You guys, this is Jack's first time ever seeing chickens. And the very first thing he did as soon as he saw them was say, wow. That's what he sees. Oh, wow, look at those. Give them a treat. Give them one. Look, look, Jack, look. Here, look. Look, they'll take it. Look, mm. oh, oh, look at what she did. <laughs> He's like, have it. <laughs> He's so little. Good, good job. <laughs> Can't get it in. Try again. Oh, good job! Oh, you did it! She doesn't like beans any more than you like the beans. Hey, Ben. Hey. Hey. Oh my gosh. Go and plug the fence so they can t talk to each other. Look, Jack. Hold on. Hi. Hi. Look at that. <laughs> He's like, what is that? Do you know? I pet the horsey. You pet him? Look, there he is. Look, oh, pet him. Put your hand out there. Pet him. Oh, he's like, don't take my rock. You see the horsey? This is Chino, by the way. Chino, by the way. Baby Jack at the farm. He just woke up. All right, here we go. Jack's like, what's happening? 
going? <laughs> and Kaylee's at the back. Holy, that one's high. <gasps> Wait, Jack, you're in the, you're in the, Jack's gonna do it. <laughs> okay. They're raising the bar. This is where somebody dies. Kaylee. Kaylee. Oh my gosh, how high is that? Is that four feet? Three nine. Jack's over there finding himself some girlfriends. That's only three three. Three three? Look, Jack's throwing sand at the little girls. <laughs> Jack! jumped her own height. <laughs> That's so funny. If you guys are wondering, Kaylee's video of what happened actually happened at the clinic is on her channel now. All right, Jack's a horse, you guys. He's gonna jump. Jump it, Jack. <laughs> jump, he likes birds. He doesn't like, uh... <laughs> he doesn't like horses at all. Well, I mean, they're pretty big. Gabby painted a coaster in craft. I want to see if you guys know what it is. You know what? We should put Ma uh, Mod Podge on top of it. Do you guys know what it is? Looks like the lucky number seven. Wait, wait, wait. Look. What no, is it? Speech bubble. Looks like a speech bubble with a question mark. Super cute. I like this idea. Who gave you the wood? Fiona. She has a whole bag of them. Oh, I want some. So there you go. What is it, guys? It's Stormy. You can't tell, but Storm is actually in that photo. Yeah, super and it was cute. Just black. Love it. So you had a good day at camp. Yeah. I'm gonna try and put some pictures in here. Storm, if I can. Whole face is in that photo, but you can't see. It. Of what Gabby did at camp, you're gonna be amazed, and she's gonna bring a camera tomorrow. I jumped. I jumped. Um, three, three. On. Lily. On Lily. And I didn't. Oh, like I didn't die the first time. She didn't die any the of the second time. Second time, we got a little extra. Stress. And Jack did not want to go in the car. Yeah, and Jack had. A, we got Jack here. Jack had the best day of his life, just running. I'm gonna take him home and let him just run around outside and play with the rocks and just let him have a good time. We uh, we'll see you. you. Yeah, no, he's going home tonight. We will see you guys tomorrow. That is the end of today's video. And um, don't forget, you're beautiful just the way you are. Don't you know?